So who's familiar with Wish.com? It's more or less been dubbed by some as the Chinese equivalent to eBay. And while you can find a couple of seemingly legit things on there, what I normally know Wish.com for is bootleg stuff. And this is particularly true of Pokemon. Everything from Pikachu onesies, to rings, to bootleg Pokemon games. Seriously, if you see, say, a copy of Pokemon Sapphire and Wish, even if it's only like $3, I assure you that more likely than not, it is probably a bootleg. What I was really interested to find was a bootleg Pokemon game console. Now that's really odd, I mean, there have been standalone Pokemon game console handhelds before. And of course, there was a dedicated Pokemon game console, called the Pokemon Mini, which was only available from the Pokemon Center store, which is now Nintendo New York, and uh, that was around, what, 2001, 2002? This is not one of those, so I would love to want own one. This is called the Pokeboy, and this cost me a whopping $2 plus like $6 shipping. Very cheap. So, what is this? Is it any good, and is it this... A uh, dubiously legal handheld worth buying off Wish.com? Well, that's what we're going to find out today on Master Trainer, the YouTube channel and helping you become a Pokemon Master. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look at the box. As you can see, uh, all the text on here is in Chinese. Except for right here where it says Pro. I'm assuming it's Chinese since it's off Wish. Uh, excuse me if I'm wrong. On the back, we have some instructions, again, mostly in Chinese, though. Uh, th there are some numbers on here, such as rotate, uh, reset, on, off, sound. On the sides, we have some more incomprehensible text. And on the other side, we have much the same. So now, let's go ahead and open this up. This is still sealed. Uh, like most things from Wish, this took about... Uh, a month to get to my house. I actually ordered this uh, probably around Black Friday 2018 and it arrived two weeks ago. Uh, so right at the beginning of 2019. So, you know, about a month. Let's see if we can pull this. Oh, goodness, this is some tight packaging right here. Oh, we have, uh, oh, what's this in this queue? We have a little keychain holder. Um, that's interesting. Okay. And we have the unit itself in this nice plastic wrap looks pretty cute actually it looks almost like a game boy though it has more of a playstation style d-pad uh it has a black line in the screen already i don't know if that's intentional or not um something tells me though just from the look of it, it looks kind of like a an LCD screen, not like a Game Boy style one, but like a Game & Watch one. So I have a feeling that we won't actually be playing any sort of Pokemon game on this. So let's go ahead, uh, I like to be nice and tidy with these things, so let's uh, put that in there, put that in the box. Um, I don't know how to actually put this on it. Is there even a place to put it? Whatever, that can go back in the box for now. I'm keeping the box, I mean, bootleg or not, it's certainly interesting. Uh, and it looks like it already has batteries in it. And all we have to do is just pull this tab. And it says 9999 and 1. And it plays to uh, Ode to Joy? Okay. So let me put it like this. And we can just kind of flip the image. Uh, let's try this first game. Oh, it's not Tetris at all. It's interesting. Okay. It's like uh, playing um, an Atari game. You can, you can kind of see it. All right, here, let, let's reset that. I bought it because it had Pokemon on it and said Tetris, but I do not see Tetris so far. Oh, I found Tetris. Uh, let's press SP, which I guess is the light. Oh, I found it. It is literally just... Oh, that's where it's Tetris, but the screen scrolls? What about Tetris K? This is an issue too. If if you wait too long while on the selection screen, it just boots you back to the title. Uh, this looks to be just your run-of-the-mill Tetris, if you want to watch that. Is it great? No. But I'll be honest, it's not terrible. I mean, is should you buy this? I mean, I don't think I can recommend it, since it's a bootleg and, you know, illegal, but... It's actually not that bad. The buttons are a little squishy. Um, 
I don't like how it times out. Honestly, if this costs any more than $2, I would wholeheartedly not recommend it. And for those wondering, even though it had Pokemon in its name, it doesn't seem to actually have anything mentioning Pokemon on the packaging, which is funny because it did on Wish, but then again, the text on Wish and the logo on Wish was in English, and this clearly isn't. Uh, so, one other thing. Let's see if I can actually turn this off. It worked. Alright. And then you just hold that turn on. Interesting. And it actually saves what game you were on, so that's cool. Uh, one other thing as well. It looks like... It actually shows you instructions on how to change the battery. They're engraved on the back of it. You see that little speaker there. There's no headphone jack or anything, but... Um, yeah, weird bootleg Pokemon console from Wish.com. Not actually terrible, which is shocking. It's actually really cute. It, it's very simple. Uh, it doesn't have much. It's very obviously not legit, but... Honestly, if this had kind of a legit name and was sold at like a dollar store or something, I'd say, like, say, when Christmas comes around, it's a great stocking stuff, or like if you have a little kid or something, it's a cute little thing. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off before we have to hear that terrible rendition of Ode to Joy again. No, I said off. Oh. Um, this is the Pokeboy, and this is Master Trainer. What bootleg Pokemon stuff do you want us to take a look at in the future? Let us know down in the comment section below. And why don't you subscribe to Master Trainer for everything and anything Pokemon, really. So with that, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.